It's okay. All right, so it's 12 noon, welcome. <laughs> We're gonna get started. Hi everybody, sorry, a little bit like complicated today. Okay, so my name is Stacy Shea and I'm live streaming from Las Vegas. So it's um, 12 noon my time, so three o'clock East Coast time. And who knows where everybody's visiting from all over the world, but I welcome all friends from all over the world. So um, 60 minute yoga class today, vinyasa and we're going to be uh, focusing on stabilization and grounding. So just an all levels class. Thank you for joining. Um, just do your best, okay? So if you have a little bit of water, bring that by. And one second. To bring my little clock so I see what time it is. Okay, we're gonna start in child's pose. So everybody, please start in child's pose. So you bring your big toes to touch. Let's do a wide-legged child's pose. So drop your chest down in between your legs and your thighs. And then just for the beginning, just gently drop your forehead down onto the yoga mat. Okay? And just settle in here. Take a couple of slow cleansing breaths. Close your eyes. And just settle in. Begin to slow and even your breaths. Just take a moment to silently thank yourself for taking this time this afternoon to heal your mind, your body, and your spirit. Okay, so let's begin to walk the arms forward. So walk your fingertips forward and stretch your arms long, coming up high on the fingertips, so you're creating more length and space in between the vertebra. So you're activating the arms, you're reaching, 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 reaching long. Good. Now press your palms down, hands are shoulder distance, palms flat. So feel um, your palms firming down, the heels of the palms down, the forearms lifted up. The elbows are straight, the arms are active. And reach your hips back. Keeping the arms long, we're going to walk the arms, the hands over to the right. So just keeping the hips where they are, you're just walking the hands over to the right. So there's a, a nice stretch from the left hip to the left waist, side body, through the arms. Let's stay here for one more breath. And then walk the hands back through center and let's go over to the left. So reaching both arms over to the left, stretching and reaching. So a nice long stretch from the outer right hip, the right waist, the right chest, the rib cage through the arms, the fingers. One more breath here. And let's bring it all the way back to center. Okay, so now stretch your arms forward as far as you can. Feel your hands to be shoulder distance, palms flat. And we're gonna press up into all fours. So tabletop position, cat and cow, belly down, coil the chest up, eyes up, look up, reach up, and then exhale, tuck your chin to your chest, your face to your heart, lower abdomen in, really round the spine. Inhale, cow pose, belly down, coil the chest up, eyes up, look up, reach up, and then you're gonna exhale. Tuck your chin to your chest, your face to your heart, lower abdomen in, round the spine. Let's do two more, inhale, so full breaths, Articulating through the spine, and we're going to exhale. So pulling the navel into the spine, rounding the spine. Last one here, inhale. And then exhale. Round the spine. Come back to neutral. We're going to do thoracic circles. So lift it up, the spine up. We're going to go over to the right. We're going to drag the spine down the right side, and then come over the left. So dragging low over to the left, and then up the left side. Thoracic circle, so it's like you're you're doing this again. So we're tracing a big barrel with our thoracic spine. So it doesn't matter what it looks like; it just matters what it feels like. Let's do one more this side, up and over to the right, down the right side, over to the left, up the left side, and back to center. Let's reverse. Up high, over to the left, down the left side, dragging over to the right. Up the right side, good, let's do two more. So nice big barrel rolls, articulating through the joints, really warming up the vertebra. 
one more this side. Keep breathing. Meeting at all fours. Tabletop. Stretch the right leg back, coming up on the half toe, and we're gonna rock forward and back. Okay, so just rock forward and back on the, um, you're on the ball of the foot. You're just warming up through the arch, the foot. Okay, quiet that down. Flex the right foot, lift the right leg up. So the right leg is strong. Reach the right leg back, belly in, long spine, heart forward, long neck. So you're nice and buoyant out of your standing leg hip. Stay there at the left arm. So you're reaching back with the right leg, stretching forward with the left arm. Long neck. Reach and strength. Stretch and lengthen long and release. Let's take it the other side. Left leg back. So roll through the ball of the foot. <laughs> Excuse the godfather in the background. <laughs> roll through the arch, the ball of the foot. Okay? So we're going to quiet that down, lift the left leg up. So flex the left foot. We're driving back the inner, um, the center of the left heel. Nice and buoyant out of that bottom leg hip. So you want to dump down, you want to lift up. Add the right arm. So stretch and reach. Lengthen long. Lengthen long. Belly in. Three, two, one. Release. Let's take it the other side one more time. Right leg back. Lift the right leg up. So to stabilize, you have to press the left foot down, the left shin down, to reach back, and then you stretch out the left arm. So right leg and left arm. Engage your core. Lengthen and stretch. Lengthen and stretch. Either stay here or we're gonna add on. You're gonna bend the right knee. We're gonna lift the left arm up and we're gonna grab the, left, uh, the right foot with the left hand. Grab a hold of that foot and then you're gonna kick the right leg back and up. And then the kick is lifting the chest up. Kick up, kick back. Kick up, kick back. One more breath here. And release coming out opposite the way we went in. And let's come down. Left side, last one. So reach the left leg back. Firm the right shin down, the right foot down. Add the left, the right arm. So left leg, right arm. Belly in. Reach long. Stretch and reach. Lengthen. Bend the left knee. Lift the right arm up, grab the foot. Kick the leg back, chest up, kick back. So open the front body. Keep breathing, kick back, kick up three, kicking for two, add one, release, and all fours. Tuck the toes, um, hover the shins half an inch off the yoga mat. So your knees and your shins are just barely off the yoga mat. Belly in, long spine. So tailbone back, belly in, heart forward. Long neck, holding three. Use your core. Two, one. Sp press up to downward facing dog. Okay, first downward facing dog, we're gonna pedal the feet up. Just pedal the feet up, right to the left. Warming up through the hips, the ankles, the knees. The feet. Okay, we're gonna quiet that down. So feet are hip distance. Press your hips, your tailbone way up. Listen carefully, come up high in the toes. We're gonna lift the hips up higher. We're gonna bend the knees a lot. And then press your chest to your thighs to keep the hips nice and high. More space in between each and every vertebra. Keeping the hips high, we're gonna slowly re-straighten the legs. So a little bit more space in between the vertebra. Keep breathing. Okay, from here, we're gonna glide forward into plank position, high push-up, pause. So very important, shoulders stacked over elbows, over wrists, and then the heels are forward on the toes. Plank position, so flat spine, belly in, hips down. Press back up into downward facing dog. Breathing. Okay, so your feet and your hands should be uh, the perfect width so you don't have to reorganize each time. So let's glide forward, plank, pause. Okay, shoulders stacked over elbows, over wrists, long spine, long neck. Pressing back up into downward facing dog. Use your belly, use your core. Breathing. Gliding forward, plank, high push up and pause. Firm the thighs, belly and long spine. We're gonna drop the knees, everybody. And we're gonna go chest, chin, 
chin and chest, lie on the belly. Good. Legs long, hands next to your shoulders, elbows close. Inhale, come up. Cobra, Bhujangasana. So legs long, outer thighs firming in. Shoulders down and back, elbows close. Look up, chest up, come up, come down, breathe. We're gonna do that again, Cobra. Firm the legs, elbows close, inhale, come up. So you're starting to fire up the back muscles. Keep the legs long and firm. Chest up, elbows close. Look up, chest up, come down. The next one, we're gonna either do a cobra or we're gonna do an upward facing dog. So upward facing dog, we firm the legs. Knees straight, get the knees off the mat. Elbows close, down and inhale, we come on up. Upward facing dog. So the difference is the knees and the shins, the thighs are off the mat. Firm the legs. Shoulders down, heart lifted, chest up. Hold it one more breath here. Tuck the toes, lower abdomen in, downward facing dog. Breathing. Okay, so we're gonna do quite a few vinyasas later. So you have an option. You can go plank. You can either go knees, chin, chest, cobra, or we can go to plank. So everybody come forward to plank. This is the other option. This is the more challenging one. Lowering down halfway, chaturanga. So elbows at a 90 and pause. Rolling over the toes, inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog, and we're breathing. Okay, so you choose. Which one you wanna do, you choose. Okay, so here we are, a downward facing dog. So palms flat, firm the triceps into the midline. Lift the hips and tailbone way up and back. More space, more length in between each and every vertebra. So you have to use your intercostal muscles and use your willpower and your force and your passion to create more space in between the vertebra. Okay, so you're firming the outer thighs into the midline, firming the outer ankles in, and spinning the inner heels out. Breathing. Outer ankles firm in, inner heels spinning out. Outer thighs firming into the midline. Hips and tailbone way, 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 way up and back. Feeling nice and stable here. Let's hold this for three more full breaths. More space in between the vertebra. Okay, from here, we're gonna look forward and come up high in the tippy toes, and we're just gonna walk up to the top of the mat, tippy toes, tippy toes. Okay, all right, forward fold here. So heel to your feet, hip distance, and we're gonna interlace the elbows, and we're just gonna hang forward, spill the body over the legs, breathing. Maybe shake your head yes and no, releasing the cervical vertebra, Kind of checking in. Okay, so hold the belly in, soften the knees. We're gonna slowly roll up one vertebra at a time. Here we come all the way up, woof. Hello, hello, welcome. Okay, come to the top edge of your yoga mat, please. We're gonna start with the feet together. So Tadasana, mountain pose. So big toes touch, ankle bones touch. Bring your awareness to the soles of your feet. So the mound of the big toe, the mound of the baby toe, the two back corners of the heel, super firm evenly. Firm the body weight and the energy evenly over the foot. And then firm the legs, belly in. Stretch up long and tall. So when you're reaching up and stretching up, all sides of the torso equally, front body, back body, sides of the body, lifting up, same amount, sternum lifted, shoulders down, long neck. Set an intention for the class this afternoon. Thank yourself for making it here. And let's have a great class. So we start with Ardha Suri Namaskar, half sun salutation. Inhale, arms above your head. Stretch up, reach up, lengthen along. And then we're gonna exhale, cactus the arms. So slight back bend, lift the chest, the heart, the sternum. Good, inhale, lengthen long, stretch up tall, lengthen. Belly and long spine, we're gonna dive on forward, long spine. Hands on the floor, or maybe on your blocks, or maybe on your shins. Inhale, halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reverse, long spine coming all the way back up. 
arms up, exhale, hands in front of your heart. We're going to do that twice more. Half sun salutation. Inhale, big breath, arms up. Exhale, open the chest. Slight back bend. Inhale, lengthen long, belly and super long spine. Exhale, diving forward. Long, long, long spine. Inhale, halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reverse. Long spine coming all the way back up. Exhale, hands in front of your heart. Last one, same thing. Inhale, big breath. Exhale, open the arms, cactus. Inhale, lengthen long. Exhale, diving forward, long spine. Inhale, halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reverse, long spine. Coming all the way back up. Exhale, hands in front of your heart. Let's do adding on. Full sun salutation. Surya Namaskar A. Inhale, big breath. No cactus here, no back bend. Exhale, diving forward. So a little change there. I'll talk you through the whole thing. Inhale, halfway lift. Ardha Uttanasana. Listen for the change. Plant the hands firm. Right leg steps back, then the left. Plank high push up. Pause. Let's pause in plank position. High push up. Breathing. So we're going to roll forward on the toes. Now you have an option. You can either drop the knees or we're going to go chaturanga mid plank. So you choose. And then we're going to roll over the toes. Upward facing dog or cobra. You choose. And exhale, downward facing dog. We're breathing. Three breaths here. Inhale. Exhale, one. Inhale. Exhale, two. Last one, inhale. Exhale, bend your knees a lot, high up on the toes. Step or lightly hop your feet in between your hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reverse, long spike. Coming all the way back up. Arms up, hands in front of your heart. Same thing like that again. Let's repeat, inhale, big breath. Stretch up, no back bend, exhale, diving forward, long spine. So this is a full Surya Namaskar at eight. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, this time left leg steps back in the right plank, high push up, pause. Lower down knees or chaturanga. Roll over the toes, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog, and we're breathing. Three breaths here. Inhale. Exhale, one, good, nice. Inhale, exhale, two. Last one, inhale, come up high on the toes, bend your knees a lot. Step or lightly hop your feet in between your hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reverse, long spine, so full breaths, big movements. Arms up, hands in front of your heart. Okay, one more like that, and then we're gonna add on, inhale, big breath. Surya Namaskar A. Exhale, diving forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Pull the heart forward and through. Exhale, step to plank or jump back to Chaturanga. If you're jumping back, you have to jump back to bent elbows. Meeting in downward facing dog. Three breaths here. Inhale. Exhale, one. Inhale. Exhale, two. Inhale, lift the right leg up high. So reach through the center of the right heel. Reach, 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 reach. Bend your right knee, pull the belly in. Knee to nose. And we're going to step the right foot all the way between the hands. So we're going into a lunge. Now, if you have blocks and you need those, you can use those. Okay, also option to drop the back knee if that's better for you. You choose, okay? I'm trusting you that you're going to listen to your body. Okay, so nice long lunge here. So make sure that you step the right foot forward enough so that the knee is stacked over the ankle, not past it. Okay? So firm that right femur bone, the right thigh bone, into the uh, right hip. And then activate the left thigh up. Okay, from here, we're going to place the left hand down under the left shoulder. And we're going to begin to turn the torso from the lower abdomen to the right. So we're going to turn, 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 turn. First, take your right hand, maybe place it on your sacrum. And turn, turn, turn. Twist the spine. Go over to the right. Okay, keep that left leg active. 
We're going to add the right arm, lift it up. Look over to the right side, keep turning with the torso. And then if you have all of that, you can look up to your right thumb. We're going to hold here and stabilize. Let's hold this for three more full breaths. One more breath here. Turn a little bit more. Right hand down. Right foot meets to left. Cycle through the vinyasa or just skip it and meet in downward facing dog. You're breathing. Meeting in downward facing dog. Okay. Second side, left leg lifts. Reach, 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 reach. Reach, belly in, round the spine, knee to nose. So bend the knee, get the knee to the nose. Come to the floor from the front, and then you're gonna step the left foot all the way through. Lunge on the left leg, okay? Now, if you'd like to drop your back knee, you may. Okay? So pull the left femur into the left hip socket. And then drive your inner right thigh up, 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 up. Keep the right knee firm. Long spine, long neck. And then from here, we're just gonna hold this for another breath. And then we're gonna drop the right hand down under the right shoulder. And then we're gonna place the left hand on the sacrum. And we're gonna begin to turn and twist the torso of the spine from the lower abdomen. So keep that left hip firming in. Keep that right inner thigh driving up. We're gonna turn, 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 turn. And then we're gonna add the left arm up. Okay, so you can either look over to the left side. So make sure that left hip doesn't pop out. You've got to keep firming it in. And then maybe you look up to your left thumb. And you're turning and twisting a little bit more. Let's hold this for three more full breaths. Turn and twist. Turn one more time. Right hand down. Left foot meets the right. Cycle through the vinyasa or skip it. And meet in downward facing dog. Keep breathing. Downward facing dog. Three breaths here. Inhale. Stabilize. Exhale one. Inhale. Exhale two. Last one. Inhale. Come up high on the toes. Bend the knees a lot. Look forward. Step or lightly hop your feet forward. Inhale. Halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reverse, long spine. Come all the way back up. Exhale, hands in front of your heart. Good work. Okay, sitting back in the chair for Utkatasana, Sri Namaskar B, Sun Salutation B. So chair pose, so if you're a Bikram student, hot yoga student, this is probably very easy for you. Okay, so hips and tailbone back, knees together. Knees back, shins back. Belly in, so we're gonna coil the chest up. So imagine there's a big wheel and you're creating a circle and you're opening and opening and opening through the rib cage, the shoulders, the arms, all the way up. Maybe you look up. Now if it's available to you, maybe you bring your palms together. So keep that wheel turning and opening and opening, open, opening. One more breath here. Exhale forward, full, good. Inhale, halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, cycle through the vinyasa or skip it and meet in downward facing dog. Remember, if you jump back, you have to jump back to Chaturanga. Breathing. Meeting in downward facing dog, listen for the change. Spin the left foot flat, bend the right knee, step it all the way through. Hand, uh, foot between hands, we're gonna bring your hands on your hips first. We're gonna come up. We're going to set up warrior one, okay? So you're going to pull the right hip back. Spin the left hip forward. Belly in. Hard lifted. Bend a little deeper into the front leg. Okay? We're going to stretch the left arm forward. So you can take your right hand and place it on your right hip and pull it back. Stretch your left arm forward. Good. Okay? Keep bringing that left chest forward. Lift the left arm up. Breathing. So all the time you're pulling the right hip in and you're spinning the left buttock forward, the left chest forward. We're going to add the right arm. Breathing. So while we're firm in the legs, we're lifting up 
out of each and every vertebra to create more space. Okay, and if it's available, you bring your palms together, maybe you look up at your thumbs. Let's hold this for three more full breaths. This is warrior one. Nice, powerful, stable, strong warrior. One more breath here. Bring the arms down, cycle through the vinyasa, or skip it and lead in downward facing dog. Keep breathing. Downward facing dog. Right foot spins flat, left knee comes forward, step the left foot through. Bring your hands on your hips, and we're gonna slowly come up, okay? Hands on the hips. So the right leg is firm and straight. You're spinning uh, the right inner thigh up and you're unraveling the right hip and buttock forward, pulling that left femur bone into the hip socket. Add the right arm. You're turning the right chest forward, spinning the right hip forward, belly in, okay? Keep the nice deep bend in the front knee. Okay, now we're gonna lift that arm up, keep breathing, and then we're gonna add the right arm, or the left arm, so keep turning the right chest forward. Okay, warrior one, Virabhadrasana A, keep breathing, belly in. So deep in the legs, and then belly in, and lengthen long and long and long and tall through all sides of the torso. Lots of space in between the vertebra. If it's available, you bring your palms together. Firm the triceps. Look up towards the thumbs. Let's hold this for three more full breaths. Nice and powerful, warrior one. One more breath here. Good, exhale, arms down, cycle through the vinyasa, take your variations as you need to, or skip it and meet in downward facing dog. Keep breathing. Okay, good, downward facing dog. Let's hold this for three more full breaths. Inhale, exhale one. Inhale, exhale two. Last one, inhale, come up high on the toes, bend your knees a lot, look, step or lightly hop your feet forward. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, forward fold. Sit back in the chair, Utkatasana chair pose, and press on up, coming to standing. We're gonna do that one more time, Surya B, a little bit faster, okay? So starting, bend the knees, Utkatasana. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Side with the vinyasa. Meeting in downward facing dog. Nice and clean. Full breaths. Meeting in downward facing dog. Spin the left foot flat, 45. Bring the right foot forward. Inhale, come up. Mirror of your to A, warrior one. One more breath here. Bringing the hands down, the arms down. Side with the vinyasa. Nice and clean, full breaths, precise movements. Meeting in downward facing dog. Right foot spins flat, bend the left knee, bring the left foot all the way through. Inhale, arms up, warrior one. Rear A. Hold this for an extra breath. Exhale, hands down, cycle through the vinyasa. Nice and slow, full breaths, breathing. Downward facing dog. Three breaths here. Inhale. Exhale one. Inhale. Exhale two. Last one. Inhale. Come up high on the toes. Bend your knees. Look forward. Step or lightly hop your feet forward. Inhale. Halfway lift. Exhale forward fold. Sit back in the chair with Katasana. We're going to stay here a couple breaths. So set up. Set up well. Okay, don't forget about that wheel from the hip socket, the hip joint, and we're gonna open and turn and open and open and open, and maybe you bring your palms together. Three more breaths here, hang on to it. Work the legs, get the heart rate going. Reach your hands up, firm the triceps into the midline. One more breath here, and come to standing. Good, hands in front of your heart. Okay, everybody have a quick sip of water if you like toasty in here today. Okay. You're finished 
sheet of your water. Let's meet at the top of the mat, please. How's everybody doing? Good? Okay. Feet together. Stand up at the top edge of your yoga mat. Okay. Hands on your hips. We're going to just um, bend the left knee and we're going to step the left foot back. Parsvottanasana. Okay. So, there's about three feet, 36 inches here. Hands are on your hips. Now this is where your blocks are gonna come in handy if you wanna use those. Okay, pull the right hip back, and then inhale, arms out to the sides. And then exhale, if you can, you're gonna take a reverse prayer, if it's available to you. If not, you can grab opposite elbow, or your wrist, or your fingers, okay? And then we're gonna inhale, coil the chest up, Eyes up, look up, reach up. We're going to gently come forward. So pull that right hip back, long spine. So we're lengthening, lengthening, lengthening. Right hip back, left buttock forward. So think chin to big toe. Chin to big toe. Lengthening long. Intense side stretch, Parasvottanasana. Pull the right hip back, left hip forward. Let's hold this for three more full breaths. Nice and stable on the feet, the legs. Okay, from here, you stay down there. You're going to release the arms and place the hands down. Place the hands down, okay? Now, if you have blocks, great. If you don't, not, no big deal. So what we're going to do next is we're going to take the right hand. We're going to take the right hand and place it on your right, uh, your safe mode. Okay, and now if it's available, you can place your left hand on the outside of your right foot. And that's where your block might come in handy. Now, if that's not available, you can just keep it on the inside. Okay? Right? Okay. So pull your right hip back. Your right hand is on your sacrum. And you're going to turn the chest. You're going to turn the, the torso. To the right, from the lower abdomen. So you're opening up the right chest, the right shoulder, the right rib cage. And then to keep the legs nice and stable, we're going to add on, if it's available, you're going to bring the right arm up. And maybe you look over to the right. So you press down with the left hand, reach up with the right arm. And then if you have all of that, you can look up to your top thumb. Karvrita Trikonasana, Revolve Triangle. So firm that left thigh back, pull that right hip in, press the left hand down, reach the right arm up, hold this for three more full breaths. Pulling that right hip back, opening wide. One more breath here. And then we're going to cartwheel the hands, we're going to come all the way back up. Good. Okay. Hands on your hips. We're going to pivot the feet and we're going to do the second side. So we're just going to pivot all the way around. So you keep your feet 3 feet 36 inches. Okay. Bring your blocks if you have them. Okay. Twist your hips. One, two, three, four. Inhale, arms up. And then we're going to either do reverse prayer or you can grab your opposite elbow. Whatever you can get. Inhale, coil the heart, the chest lifts. Pull the left hip back and we're come down. We're going to come down flat spine. So unravel the right hip forward as we come down. So think chin to big toe, lengthening the spine long. So make sure your back leg is firm, your back foot is rooted. Spinning the inner right thigh up and back, firm that back leg. And then pull that left hip in long spine. Parasvottanasana, intense side stretch. Breathing. So keep pulling that left hip back and lengthening the spine down, chin to big toe. Three more breaths here. And release the hands. Now we're going to go into revolve triangle. So if 
you have a block, you can place it on the outside of your foot or inside if you need that, okay? So bring your left hand on your sacrum, lengthen the spine. So from the tailbone through the top of the head, you're going to reach forward long. And you're going to begin to turn and twist the spine open to the left. Originating from the lower abdomen, so you're going to turn and twist the spine from the lower abdomen, opening up the left chest, the left shoulder, the left rib cage, adding the left arm up, step by step here. Keep the legs super stable, and maybe you look up to the left thumb. So legs are stable, pressing down with the right hand, reaching up with the left arm. Nice open twist. Holding this for three more full breaths. Pressing down to reach up. One more breath here. And we're going to cartwheel the arms. We're going to come all the way back up. Good. Step or hop your feet into center. Whew. Okay, face the front, please. And we're going to go to... Okay, good. Feet together, top of the mat. Okay. Tadasana mountain pose. We already talked about this a moment ago. But let's just stabilize and ground and calm the mind, relax the nervous system for a moment. So spread your toes wide and then firm the legs. So feel the energy coming from the soles of the feet up through the legs, the thighs, the calves. Belly and long spine, chest up. Lifting up back body, front body, sides of the body, shoulders down. Okay, one more breath here. Okay, from here, bring your hands on your hips. We're going to do extended big toe pose. So we're going to shift the weight over to your left leg. Okay? Solidify that left leg thigh, spread the toes out wide. Root down all four corners of the left foot. Okay, now we're gonna come up, we're gonna bring the right leg up. So just you can just bring the knee um, at a 90 right now. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the index and middle finger and slice in between the big and second toe. Okay? So this is what you're gonna try to go for. Now it's important for you to be standing upright if you can. Okay? Now, if this is not available, you can just do hand to knee. Okay, but just try. Now, you have to use your core and you lift up. Now, if you have this, focus your eyes one point. So, you quiet the mind by stilling the eyes. Okay, stabilizing here. And then we're going to, if you have this, we're going to inhale, kick the right leg heel forward. Okay, so you want to keep your chest lifted. Now, here, if, if your foot goes, if your leg goes higher than a 90, that's fine. Okay, it doesn't have to be just parallel to the floor. Okay, stop, still your eyes, keep breathing. Now if you have this, we're gonna open the right leg out to the side. Okay, and then you can add your left arm out for balance. Okay, so, uh, you're doing an external rotation of the right hip. Now if you have all of that, you can maybe look over to your left. You can also do a hand mudra with your left hand. Press the left leg down, we're lifting up. Nice and stable. One more breath here. Bring your gaze back to the front. Bring your right leg out to the front. We're going to lift both arms, both legs up. Holding five, three, four, three, two, one. Okay, forgot how to count. Okay, good. Let's do the other side. Okay. Feet together. Shift your weight over to your right leg. Focus your eyes one point. We're going to lift the left leg up. Use your core and we're going to take your index and middle fingers and slice in between big and second toe. So you have to really stabilize your right leg. So firm the outer right thigh into the midline. Belly and lifting up, 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 up. Remember, you can grab the knee if, if that's not available. And then you're going to kick the left leg forward. Okay? Flexing the foot. Heel forward. Chest lifting. Nice and long spine. You have all of that, you're going to open the leg out to the side. Okay, so you're like spinning the left hip sock or the left femur bone externally. Add the right arm, maybe you'll go over to the right. Open wide, lift up. One more breath here. 
Take the gaze back to the front, bring the left leg forward. Now we're going to let go of the foot. Lift the leg up, the arms up, holding five. Breathing four, hang on to it for three. Good. Two, and release. Okay, nice. Nice job. Okay, keep breathing. Okay. Let's do one more thing. So balancing back on that left leg. Okay, we're going to lift the right leg up. You take your left hand, you're going to grab the outside of your right foot. Now focus your eyes one point. Okay, stand up nice and tall, stabilize your standing leg. From here, you're going to lift your left or your right leg forward. Maybe the right leg doesn't go all the way straight. Maybe it does. Okay? So when you have that, you're going to add the right arm back. Okay, and maybe you're just grabbing the knee. Okay, and then if you have all of that, you can maybe, if you can, you take your gaze to the back. Breathing. Holding five, four, three, two, and one. And release. Okay, let's do the other side. Okay, so stand up tall. You shift away to reach your right leg. And you're going to lift your left leg up. So always still the mind. Quiet the, eye, the mind, quiet the eyes. One point. And when you can, you grab your left foot, the outside of your left foot with the right hand. Now use your core, spine straight. From here, we're going to kick the left leg out. Okay, flex through the left foot. So you're kicking from the inner groin to the inner heel and flexing your toes back. If you have all of that, you can add your left arm. So you're kicking forward and you're reaching back with your left arm. And if you have all of that, you maybe look back to your back thumb. Holding five, four, good, breathing three, two, one, gaze front, and release. Nice job. Okay, whoo. Okay, next we have, oh, come to the top of the mat. We're going to do one last vinyasa and we're going to go to seated, okay? Feet together, inhale, big breath. Exhale, diving forward, long spine. Inhale, half knee lift. Exhale, step or hop back. Cycle through the nyasa, meeting downward facing dog. Meeting downward facing dog. Okay, from here, we're going to step or jump through to seated. Okay, so if you're jumping through, you can go for that. If you need to step to that spine, so come up high the toes. Bend your knees a lot. Hips way, way, way back. Look forward past your towel. Jump all the way through. Okay. All right. So sitting down, legs in front. Good work, everybody. Here we are, sitting down, Paschimottanasana first pose. Actually, let's do Dandasana. So um, line up the heel of your palm, the back of your palm, with the edge, back edge of your buttock on both sides. You're going to press the hands down, and you're going to lift the chest up. Okay, the, the legs are active, so you want to firm the thighs and spin the inner thighs doing an inner rotation. Flex the feet, but keep your heels down. And you're going to inner rotate the thighs so that the outer edge of the foot comes back as well, like you're standing on a flat surface. So the legs are working hard, and you're pressing the hands down and lifting the chest up. So root down with the hands, rise up, heart lift. Slide tuck of the chin, long spine. Holding three. Nice and firm for two. And one. That's called Dandasana staff pose. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, come down front side. Paschimottanasana. Okay, so you can choose. You can take your index and middle finger, slice it between big and second toe, or you can grab the outsides of your feet. Or if you're extra bendy and you want to grab a piece of block under your feet, you can do that. And we're going to pull the body forward. Hashimotanasana. Stretching the back side of the body. Western stretch. Back side. Okay, so think of long neck, flat back. Reach and stretch. Stretch and reach. Okay, 
Let's hold this for three more breaths. Okay, coming on up. From here, we're going to do um, lie on the back, bridge pose, Sachin Bhadasana with a block. If you have a block, so you're on, flip over this way. Okay, so you lie on your back. Now bend your knees, place your feet hip distance, bring your feet parallel. Now if you have a block, we're going to just go ahead and place that block under the sacrum. So you can do it on the low facet. Okay, so make sure your, your um, tailbone and sacrum are supported. So the block is quite low, okay? Now if you don't have a block, maybe you have something else. Hopefully you have something else. But if you don't, you can do regular bridge. That's where your feet are rooted down and your knees are together and you lift your hips up. us we are on the block or on, supported on something and just feel how the hips and the pelvis are supported our poor hips and pelvis have to do so much work and the sacrum have to do so much work every day holding us upright walking around sitting so much weight, so it gets to have some support and some release here. And if you're in regular bridge, just come down and take a couple breaths. Okay, if you're doing regular bridge, come on up one more time, regular bridge. And we're going to hold this for three more breaths. Okay, from here, you're going to press the feet down. You're going to lift the hips up and get the block out of the way. And normal bridge, you come down. Okay, good. So everybody, lift your, uh, your feet up and your arms up. And just circle your hands around your wrists, your ankles. And let's go the other direction. Okay, from here, we're going to take both knees. We're going to bend them tabletop. We're going to scoot the hips over to the left, and we're going to bring both legs over to the right. So just a supine twist, very gentle. Now, if you want to add a leg variation, you can. So that means you can do a, maybe an eagle leg if you like that, or even the opposite of an eagle leg, or just keep it like this. Arms out to the sides, shoulders down. Supine twist. Okay, and just breathe. A couple breaths here. Taking a nice twist. Good. Fantastic. Let's hold this for two more full breaths on this side. And then we're going to come on back up through center. Bring the legs up. Let's scoot the hips over to the right. Bend the knees. And we're going to bring both legs over to the left. And then you can add your leg variations if you like. Or you can just keep it simple and just have one knee on top of the other. Arms out to the sides. When we do these supine twists, you want to try to keep the opposite shoulder down. So for this side, it's the right shoulder. That's going to want to pop up. So you're going to try to anchor that down. Rocking forward and back, massaging the spine, 
This is also nice to do. If you feel like your spine is like off or your spine is out, if you do a nice rock and roll like this, it kind of realigns your spine. Okay, one more here and then we're going to sit up. Okay. Now the next thing we're going to do is called Viparita Karani. It's legs up the wall. So if you have a wall close by, bring your mat to the wall. And if you don't have a wall, maybe like you could place your legs up on a chair or like the couch. Okay. And how we get into this one is you have to bring your hips like all the way flush to the to the wall. Okay. And then this you have to kind of scoot your your buns to the wall and you lift your legs up. Okay. So this is legs up the wall pose. And I just want to be here for about three minutes, okay? So just get into it. And you can bring your arms out to the sides, or you can bring your um, hands on your belly. And you can close your eyes. And just breathe. Now imagine a waterfall down from the soles of your feet and there's just this, all this cool fresh water running down from your feet down your legs your shins the water is coming down your thighs into the, the belly there's a pool imagine the abdomen is like a, a pool of fresh water and all that water is just splashing into the pool and the legs and the feet are becoming lighter Shavasana, the dead body pose. So let's get set up for that. So take a moment to get comfortable in your Shavasana. So you have a nice, comfortable Shavasana. Okay. You have a good five minutes here, so that's wonderful. Okay, so just lie on your back. So I like to just let my legs plop out, relax, and then I even... Um, I take my elbows and I press the elbows down and lift the chest up to kind of just, just broaden across the heart. And then I let my arms back down and nice long neck. And then you can close your eyes here. So unhold your legs, unhold your hips. Big and out of the nose. Big and out of the mouth. Two more big inhale. Big 
friends from New York, from Las Vegas, and from all over the world. Have a wonderful day. See you next time.